Welcome to Miramar. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have the new name of the new desert map in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, called Miramar. The developers claim that they are beyond words that they can finally share the name of this long-awaited desert map. On top of that, they shared some information about the most interesting places that you will be able to visit. Since it is a desert map, it comes at no surprise that this environment is very different from Erangel. They wanted to create a scene that is harsh and unforgiving, exactly what a desert map should be like. You will get to play around in the desert, but you will also be able to hunt down your next enemy in the dense urban areas of Miramar. This will create a new battle royale experience where some of your old strategies may no longer work and new tactics are required. And I will definitely share those with you in another video. We will explore some of the most important areas first and later I will give you a strategic overview of our new map. Los Leones is the largest city. It has everything what you would expect from the capital. A nice skyline, shopping areas, commercial buildings and a lucrative city center. This place will allow you to take advantage of high vantage points, because you can use the construction sites to reach more elevated locations. As you can see, we will also have a church in the middle, some oil wells on your left and a lot of cranes. I would not be surprised if these cranes were accessible, making them a great location for snipers. A lot of these buildings are under construction, so that will definitely create a few interesting angles. El Pozo is a city located in the west. It has large industrial and entertainment districts, but it also houses an arena together with old textile factories. As you can see, this city does not have skyscrapers or a bunch of cranes. Most of the action will take place on the ground, but the hills in the north seem to be able to provide you with a nice overview of this city, which can be used in your advantage. Based on this picture, it seems to be possible to access the top of the silos, and we might even be able to run over the pipes that connect these silos as well. Monte Nuevo lies somewhere in the middle in between Los Leones and El Pozo. It is a besieged town with walls that were built to protect the residents. These walls are also going to be very useful for a smart player who will use them for cover or for flanking maneuvers. Valle del Mar is the harbor located in the southwest. Here you will find access to the main bridge called the Toro Bridge which will give you access to the main island. It's a colorful oceanside town with a school in the west and a church in the east. La Cobraria is located in the northwest. It is the shipping and transport capital of Miramar. There is an enormous rail yard over here with cargo of a long dead industry. You will also find schools and campuses over here. The chances are very high that you will be able to find some high level gear over here as well. San Martin is located in the very center of the map, right next to Hacienda del Patron. This place is surrounded by checkpoints and barriers and this quiet small town has now turned into a war zone with great overlooking locations on both sides of this town. Picado lies in the very center of the map featuring the largest casino in the region. Casino means high level gear in this game. You could even draw the comparison with the hospital from Irangel. Next to the casino you will find 4 story hotels and an arena. Chumacera lies directly to the west of Los Leones and it is the center of the once thriving textile industry. You will find some long abandoned factories overlooking the main road together with residential and commercial buildings. The developers call this place high risk, high opportunity, so it definitely sounds like a lot of fun. Puerto Paraiso is the harbor located in the southeast. Besides these two beautiful piers, you will find a few warehouses together with what looks like a customs office. The crane that you see here doesn't have a ladder, so I'm afraid that we won't be able to use it to get a bird's eye view of the harbor. On the far right you will get a glimpse of the smallest island in the east. This is the one without buildings, but I will show you that more clearly when we check out the map. The main thing that stands out are these hills overlooking this place. So watch out when you decide to leave this harbor, because I'm sure that you will find a sniper or two trying to use these hills to hunt you down. What you see here is the prison, located in the southwest on the largest island. Besides the numerous guard towers, you will find football courts, cargo areas, two large hangars and cell block E, which is huge by the way. If you follow the dirt road, then you will end up in Minas del Sur. This place looks like the biggest bottleneck on the map because it's surrounded by mountains and there's only one obvious way in or out. It looks very similar to the prison in Rangel. This picture shows us an undisclosed location of a small town in the west. It definitely looks like a place to avoid, with low level loot, so low risk, low reward. Let's take a closer look at the map itself. This is Miramar. As you can see, we have another square map. A large portion of this map is located on the mainland, with a large island in the southwest together with a smaller island right next to it. Both of these islands are connected with a bridge to the mainland, so this will be paradise for the bridge campers. In the east you will see a few more islands and the two biggest ones have buildings on them. I presume that one of these will become the new spawn island. 
In the northeast you will find the new military base, a likely location for high level gear, great weapons, certain death and a very lucrative place for the pros to start their killing spree. In the northwest you will find the ruins and a trailer park. This will become a remote area, not visited by many with only a few buildings scattered around all over the place. Similar to the area to the southwest of Gatka where you are on your own most of the time. Most of the action will take place in the very center of the map. The central part looks very linear and everything has a noticeable east-west orientation. It all starts with two bigger cities in the south. Then we have three smaller cities. Then three more cities, but these are significantly larger. Then three more smaller cities and finally two larger locations in the north. I know that there are still locations in between, but these lines definitely stand out a lot. And this will help you with being able to see the bigger picture. These aren't the only places to visit, of course. But you will have to discover the rest of them on your own. Or you will have to watch one of my upcoming videos, which will show you the complete overview of Miramar. Together with the best places to go, with the best loot available on this new map. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching, and I will see you in Miramar.